Hi, I'm Dr. John McLean, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And this will be uh, short answers to tough questions number 11. And on this one, I want to raise the question, why God? Why do more people not do your will than do your will or receive salvation? When you think about it, you know, we talk about God's will, but the Bible indicates, history seems to certainly say that far, far more people do not do God's will than do his will. Now, I know that you could say everything that happens is God's will, but uh, I think that the declared behavioral will of God for humanity, the declared desire God desires uh, that uh, no one perish, that that all come to repentance uh, throughout the Old Testament and in the New Testament, but particularly the Old Testament, you always see rebellion, rebellion against God's declared will. And so if you sit down, uh, why do more people not do your, and I could insert the word, declared will, or written will, or revealed will, then do your will, or receive salvation? Well, two short passages, Romans chapter 9. 27 to 29, Isaiah cries out concerning Israel. Though the number of the sons of Israel be like the sands of the sea, it is the remnant, the small number that will be saved. For the Lord will execute his word on earth thoroughly and quickly. For the Lord is executing his word, his will. Thoroughly and quickly, and just as Isaiah foretold, unless the Lord of the Sabbath or Sabbath had left us a posterity, had left those remainers to remainders of people to posterity, we would have become like Sodom and would have resembled Gomorrah. And so here we see it is but the few that are uh, saved, the few that are delivered, the few that are the remnant. Jesus said in Matthew 7, 13 and 14, enter through the narrow gate for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction. And there are many who enter through it for the gate is small and the way is narrow that leads to life, and there are few who find it. God, why, did, why didn't you save more? Why didn't you impose uh, the good part of your will, the compassionate part of your will, the gracious, merciful, sacrificial aspect of your will on a greater number? Luke 13, 22 through 24. And he was passing through from one city and village to another, teaching and proceeding on his way to Jerusalem. And someone said to him, Lord, are there just a few who are being saved? And he said to them, strive to enter through the narrow door. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able many will seek to enter that narrow gate and will not be able. Now, I want to learn. I want to learn from you. And I'm interested in your comment, comments. But don't send me theological dogma. Don't send me philosophical foolishness. Open up the Bible and add to my learning of verses that might bring 
greater understanding. And my answer for this, as I read the scriptures, why God do uh, more people not do your will than you uh, then do your will or receive salvation? Uh, I have a question. I, men love darkness rather than light. God offers salvation, offers light. Humanity rejects it. And God has, in his sovereign will, chosen to maintain a remnant, but not to save the majority. 